basically in your garage. <laughs> right, yeah, this is where I started. I basically, Bill Keith was uh, just a roofer you know, 10 years ago right when he got the idea for this, a solar-powered attic fan that he dreamed up and actually made in this northwest Indiana garage. And that just pumps hot air yeah. out of your attic. It just pumps hot air out of your attic. So uh, if I take it out in the sun. Let's do this, yeah. As soon as it starts sensing sunlight, so it doesn't even have to be right in the direct sunlight. As soon as it starts sensing it, it starts going. Drawing hot air out of your attic, lowering your cooling bills, and using only the sun's energy to do it. Sales have been good, obviously. Yeah. I think my first year we did $39,000 in sales and wasn't enough to cover all the expenses. Right. And it kind of grew to where, um, you know, we're, we probably our peak was a little over $2 million. He's one of those small business, all American stories, developing green energy jobs that a new administration pushing green energy just couldn't resist. I got a call from the guy from the White House on a Saturday night at 7 on my cell phone saying, you know, this is Greg Nelson from the White House. And I was like, yeah, right. Who is it really? You know, and uh, he said, no, we'd like to invite you to um, Obama's town hall meeting. That's I, where you asked the question. Yeah. When I asked the question. Thank you, President Obama. I'm Bill Keith from Sunrise Solar. I manufacture a solar-powered attic fan right here in Indiana. With that one town hall appearance, Bill Keith became a White House solar superstar. Can you come to Washington? Can you come to Philadelphia? Vice President Biden is doing this. Each time asked to talk about his green energy business. But now, the half dozen jobs Bill Keith created out of this garage are about to be lost. This is the good stuff here. Uh huh. And this has been working for how long for you? Uh, five plus years now. This is the customized solar panel Keith needs to power his fans, but they are put together in Hong Kong. It is the only part of this fan that is not made in the USA. The plastic is from Indiana, the motors from Chicago, the wires from New Jersey, the steel brackets, they're made just down the street. South Bend. <laughs> okay. You know, it's even my boxes are made here. And, and you know, I, the, the only thing that I can't get made here, and I've tried for 10 years, but the only thing is, is the panel. And that is suddenly a big problem. His customized solar panel assembled in Hong Kong is now part of a big business, big time trade dispute between the U.S. and China. The Obama administration is trying to protect big U.S. solar panel companies from having to compete with cheaper solar panels made in China. And President Obama has placed a 250% tax on the very solar panels Bill Keith needs to keep his fans and his business running. This notice from U.S. Customs advised him the solar panels he imported in May will face the full import tariff. Let's just take the small one. Let's say 250%, right? So 2.5. That's $270,000 that I would have to come up with out of my pocket to pay customs and border. These guys are going to put me out of business, and I don't have any help. I've been trying to get help. No one, can, no one will help me navigate. Last month, Keith decided to play his political card, writing to what he thought was his personal contact at the White House, Greg Nelson at the Office of Public Engagement. Under the subject line, hanging on for life here, Keith asked, can you help me before I have to close my doors and let everyone go? Please, I'm pleading with you. The response from Gregory Nelson at the White House Office of Public Engagement, thanks for bringing it to my attention. I don't know what is possible, but let me talk to a few folks ASAP. We'll circle back soon. It's been nearly a month. CNN did receive this email from the White House basically stating the tariff highlights the degree to which solar panel manufacturers have faced unfair competition from countries like China. And the president's move to impose a tax on Chinese-made goods is a way to establish a level playing field with China for American businesses and workers. The email did not address how it was going to help Obama's former solar superstar, to save his business. This is the kicker. Yeah. You were the star. I know it's a little disheartening. Actually, it's hard for me to look at it. I thought about taking it down. I got swept up in, into this, paraded around Washington, D.C., invited multiple times. I, I was like, why am I getting invited? I'll show you the tickets I got from the White House being invited to events. I get White House Christmas cards and even a letter from the White House 
And I don't have my glasses on, Drew, but that last line there, what does that say? Please stay in touch with suggestions that will help us help you win the future. That's the guy I think that hasn't talked to you in a month. Yeah. Um, yeah. Disheartening. He says he once believed President Obama was on the side of small business and understood what it took to keep garages like his kind of open. Now on the brink of having to close his doors, lay off a half dozen or so workers, he can't even get anyone in the White House to answer an email. Drew Griffin, CNN, St. John, Indiana.